Hi, I am here to do your reading. Make sure you listen to the intro if you haven't already. This is for the new moon on the 21st, okay? Um, I just did Libra, so this is for Scorpio. Scorpio, how are you? This new moon is very transformative and it hits your fourth house. Pluto is involved. Um, that's very, very big. Um, let me just put you on the ascendant here. Um, the south node is still in your sign, and I have, and I actually see somebody coming in or leaving your environment that you care about very, very much, um, probably. Or there's some sense of abandonment around this person or something like this, because um, I see the part of nemesis here, and I also see the part of psyche or um, psyche here. And psyche is a story. She was the uh, she wound up being the wife of of Cupid. Um, but her parents abandoned her, um, treated her like shit, left her on a mountain to try and find a husband. It was like awful abandonment story. And, um, and Cupid fell in love with her, which Cupid was the, uh, son of Venus. And, um, anyway, there's this whole love story involved there. And I see the vertex here as well. So some of you could have, um, somebody come in or out of your life that you love very much that has, um, is somebody treating them unfairly or something like this in the past or you may have a nemesis to deal with to get to this person something of this nature and the south node which means cleaning up of the past something like this is also going on um from very old old times that's reminding you of old things or something of this sort okay um there is a quincunx, all right? There is a sextile between um, the south node and Mercury, which rules Gemini and Virgo and is in Capricorn um, at the time of the full moon um, from your sign, all right? Um, and there is also a um, quincunx to Mars from Mercury and from the south node. So I feel as if here um, there's some lingering anger or some anger issues or somebody ruled by Mars or some Martian energy, which is also associated with you since you're Greek Hellenistic ruler, that you're like uneasy about what to like push forward with and what to let go of. There's some unresolvable issues um, from the past or something like this that you're having a hard time reconciling in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit, something here. Um, Okay, and I feel like somebody here may have been ruled by Saturn with the part of Nemesis showing up here. Either a Capricorn sun moon rising or an Aquarius sun moon rising that is of issue here that's been a Nemesis, okay? And then there's also somebody possibly coming in or um, into your life or that's very important to you, um, all right? And is facing some sort of... Um, unexpected changes or something like this, okay? There is positive momentum for these changes. I just want you to know if you are concerned um, with this person or individual or energy because um, there is a trine from, you know, between Uranus and, uh, and Mercury, all right? Um, and the North Node, okay? Or areas thereof, okay? And Earth signs, okay? Um, that said, this new beginning kind of rocks your home, your foundation. It could have to do with, even though it's a fourth house issue, it could have to do with work or your public sphere, but the changes are very deep and having to do with your family or your root or your home, a big change. Okay. Um, coming around at the 21st or two weeks there following also has to do with, um, something that you feel like it's permanent or solid, a new glue, something like this, but there's a little bit of tensions or bumps to this new glue because of the um, square off with um, from Aquarius to Taurus, okay? If you're dealing with somebody that has Taurus or Aquarius prominent in their chart, even a little bit stronger, um, you know, and so far as you, you could feel these tensions a little bit more. Um, I overall see it as a positive energy. I see it, uh, you know, I, I went over it in the intro, so make sure I don't want to repeat stuff I said in the intro, but there's a lot of um, really important midpoints to this new moon um, that have placements that um, cover the Pluto's move into Aquarius in the March, which it's going to be there for a really long time, um, to like 2043 or something, 
which is crazy um, amount of time and very important for the United States and worldwide. Um, and I see it going over aspects which, um, you know, Pluto will start to cover or cross next year and they're following. And I also see it reminiscent of things that happened on the 31st, 30th, 31st with the Venus um, Pluto conjunction in the sky in the beginning in the end of uh, Capricorn and right now Pluto is like at the time of the new moon straddling um, the cusp of uh, Aquarius and Capricorn if you have any placements there or dealing with somebody with placements there their light energy is likely to be um, very intense for the bad or the good okay so watch out for that and then um, let's see what else did I want to discuss? Um, you have like this higher order, okay, that's coming from um, your Hellenistic ruler, all right, and Pluto is involved with this new moon, all right, which is your modern day ruler. So you're very heavy, or your energy of the transformation, the Phoenix, is very heavy on events and people's new beginnings, okay? Um, if you know anyone and you love anyone that's going through any big changes, you can really help them at this time um, or hinder them. Oh, popping here with your um, card, death, okay? Um, you are going through a transformation of your own as well. Um, dealing with ultimate, with security, family, possibly children. Something here very heavy, a lot of major arcana back here, all right? And dealing with investments and stuff of this nature. Okay. Um, anyway, there's going to be some ending and new beginning here um, in homes and foundations. This could be something as simple as moving house. This could be as serious as having a divorce. This could be as... Um, serious as dealing with the loss of a parental figure or somebody that was close to your home or foundation um, that you've known for a long time. Something that's deeply uprooting. This could have to do with moving. We're going to see. Um, also, I wanted to discuss, but whatever it is, it's very transformative. There's a lot of positive energy and whatever hits, it's likely to be like glue. There's um, Mercury and Gemini energy also involved as well as a seal between Saturn and Venus, that is long-standing love. Okay, so there may be somebody around that you have a very long-standing soul tie, bonded to commitment that's transforming right now, okay? Um, and there's some solidarity with the transformation, okay? Um, so I don't wanna scare you with it or anything like that. It's going to be positive in the outcome. Um, maybe a little bit transformative from here to March, you know, but I feel like whatever's going on, you're already aware of it. I feel like anything unexpected that happened probably already occurred, okay, um, or is already set into motion, or you already know could be a possibility, something of this sort. Oh, okay. We're popping here with the Hierophant. This is some pretty, um, I mean, I expected you to be deep. Okay. Um, we have Death, the Hierophant, and the Chariot. All three major arcana so far. Um, death, a representative of major arcana transformation, Plutonian, Mars-like energy, Scorpionic energy, having to deal with you and the eighth house, okay? Um, the Hierophant, dealing with um, energy of Taurus, um, Venus, um, structures, legalities, um, bureaucracy, government, um, old companies that have been around forever, old families that have been around forever, things of this sort. Um, the law sometimes. Um, chariot, I, that is a very fast moving. Okay. All right, I feel like you're freeing yourself from previous investments, some of you. Um, the chariot is a very fast moving um, arcana, fast, very fast moving. From a soul level like I have to move I have to do this because of my soul's growth my soul's need this is um, a very deep thing when we're dealing with the chariot and death you could have literally had a passing okay I'm sorry if you did um, 
The chariot is a link to Jupiter as well as um, cancer energy. All right, it is go left, right, black horse, white horse. Um, those horses have to be in unison to carry the carriage forward, okay? Um, that is the likely outcome, so I do see movement, okay? And I do see a breaking away of old structures. Maybe something that was very old and that you were tied to for a very long time or something of this sort, okay? Um, something very new here of higher order, though. Um, there is a... Um, what you can do to help or hinder this. I feel like um, some of you are like disillusioned about a relationship, okay, or your options emotionally, uh, having to do with a specific relationship that's very important to you. Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, Temperance. New alchemy, a new mix, Six of Swords to bring yourself to a, um, there's something that was a high, a very heavy burden, but there's a lot of love here. Okay, I have the Seven of Cups, the Two of Cups, Temperance, Six of Swords, Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups, King of Swords. Um, there was something, there's a lot of love here with you and somebody else, although there's a stressful situation and something that was a heavy burden, too much to carry. Somebody's got to put some down. So you've got like making a new mix and you're a little disillusioned about it. But the advice is, is to like move to calmer waters, tap into Temperance. There is love here. Okay, um, and so a very powerful individual, possibly Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, um, sun, moon, rising. The sun is on top. Um, with the world. Um, either a brand new beginning, a new cycle, opening and beginning, a new foundation. Okay, after some strife and hardship, I do see somebody here that you very much care for. At least one person. Okay, um, take a look, shall we? What you can do to help or hurt the situation, the advice is to invest and wait. Invest and wait. Okay, I feel like something may be unsteady here, possibly because of some changes or transitions. Um, I do see a lot of love here with you and somebody else. Um, if you have Taurus or a Cancer rising or moon, you're showing up here. If you have those people significantly um, aspected or placed that are around you, that's also showing up here. Give me the depth. I feel like there's an offer that changes the foundation. Maybe an offer on a house, maybe an offer from um, something to do with a marriage, a home, something very big, okay, that you're running fast away from or towards, okay? Um, there's some sort of talking here with somebody else, possibly to do with an offer or a negotiation, okay, that um, can bring some stability. Maybe you say no to it or um, something of this sort. Okay, give me the higher font. Something here to do with a father figure um, and disillusionment around a father figure, a Taurus, government, an Aries, somebody with a lot of Mars and a tower. Okay, um, there's some fear here that some old structure is gonna die or fall related to a father, okay, or a father figure or a boss, okay, maybe an older individual, you may be disillusioned about this individual or something of this sort, okay, I feel like that's going to fall, okay, tower's coming in for that individual, all right, um, what's a chariot? Page of rods, the moon, Queen of Pentacles in reverse on the chariot. Um, something here, um, hold on. Give me the three of ones. 
Some of you may be moving. You may have to move quick because of a job offer or something. Like somebody may say, oh, I want you to start next month. I want you to, you know, something like this. Um, others of you um, could be having something in your external environment going on, which is affecting your internal foundations. I do not see it continuing on forever. Um, because I see government or the law involved here to help. Um, I see a lot of communications. I see possibly some children, possibly a um, fire sign and some sort of um, judgment call being made of a higher order. All right. Let's take a look. Mm. Give me the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands, I have the Queen of Wands. Some of you could be married to a fire sign or living with a fire sign or used to live with a fire sign. Aries, Sag, Leo. Um, I see some like end to an offer or something um, bothersome here regarding a younger... Um, regarding a child that is an earth sign or something here um, regarding that and foundation there may have been some deal here made that's cut off yeah um, I feel like you're moving away from um, untruths or anything um, unjust or um, litigious or something like this there may have been some secrets involved um, that may be exposed regarding litigation or some sort of injustice here or something like this and I think you want to move away from these things very fast if there was something here done in haste you talk to somebody you shouldn't have talked to or something like this this is very weird to say something like of this nature um, now some of you could be talking to somebody else about consulting somebody else about a possible divorce um, or moving away something of this sort um, or there could be a change in a foundation, like maybe your spouse is changing where she works or you're moving because of a job or offer or opportunity, a new doorway to walk through, um, okay? But there is something that somebody wants to have at all costs. There's a truth about that and there's some sort of mystery um, or emotionally out of sorts here because of some something, an untruth, an injustice, something secret possibly. Okay, hold on. Give me the tower here with the hair font. I feel like there's communications. Um, the reason for the death is that there were um, some sort of communications here regarding somebody from the past or some children here, um, possibly to do with a Pisces um, or that you had to go into like some sort of state to think about you may be thinking about your own childhood thinking about the past or some sort of communications here having to do with siblings or family or something very nostalgic from the past that blew up here you may have had these communications regarding from a father figure or somebody with a lot of aries or mars in their chart um or this person could have been out of sorts when you talk to them or not thinking straight or something or something like this what's the um seven of cups and I feel as if that's the reason for the ending. Yeah, the Seven of Cups has to do with the Seven of Swords. That's um, in reverse. Something manipulative or thieving or stealing, um, stealing, lying, cheating, stealing. Um, and there's justice and injustice coming in on this situation. There's like a higher order of spiritual order or, and or a father figure here may have been communicating this. Somebody may have been traveling and got something happened or um, something was stolen or something was stolen from somebody else or somebody was disillusioned or lying about what made them emotionally fulfilled. Could have been a father figure. All right. There could have been some sort of injustice here. Um, that is the reason for the ending or the death. There could have been some sort of communications that like stopped or a situation that ended because it was like, no, this isn't fair or this isn't just or something of this sort here. Okay. 
Um, yeah. Okay. Um, if somebody came to you to give you um, some sort of offer, I feel like an offer that was like dirty, I feel like you're shutting that down. Take it as it resonates. Okay. Um, for some of you. On this chariot, there's some um, love here or some child here that you're coming out of anxiety over. Um, could be a Leo or it could be um, some sort of love for um, sunshine, like some anxiety that somebody's coming out of. Okay, it could be um, having to do with a spouse or a um, queen of pentacles, a mother-like figure, a nurturing figure, good cook, very fertile, very abundant, very um, good at business. There may have been somebody here that you were hiding, that you were hiding or somebody else was hiding that you want to move towards now that may be a secret that you want to explore, something of this sort. Okay, um, I feel like... Um, Possibly a period of rest or secrets or introspection is going to be ending. Possibly due with um, with somebody in, uh, that has a lot of Pisces in their chart or um, Cancer or um, Earth. Okay, um, or this could just be a spouse. I feel like somebody wants to move towards a victory, um, their ultimate success, happiness, abundance, um, security, and home and family. Somebody may have been hiding how they feel or somebody may have been walking away from a family situation and they may be doing it very quickly and secretively. Um, all right. I feel like you're resting and you're thinking about a situation and um, I feel as if there's like a desire because of the love you have for somebody or um, something of this sort um, is very strong. It's very strong. And I feel like you're coming out of a period of anxiety or this person is. And I feel like there's some sort of rough patch, but this person is moving towards victory, something of this sort. Um, okay. Some of you may have got news about somebody in the family departing or something like this or some sort of security being upended momentarily due to something. You may have had a Pisces that was sick, could have, um, or departed or something like this. Okay. Um, and I feel as if um, somebody is coming out of a period of rest to explore their other options and related to you and um, I feel like there is like a lot of love and, and, and emotions here for somebody possibly a family or somebody you consider family okay but there's just, just like changes that you're going through at this time or this person's going through it's not a permanent situation um, what is this with the seven of pentacles If it was a permanent situation and I feel like you traveled there quickly or something of this sort, or you want to, or something of this sort. Okay. What is, um, what is the fool? I feel as if you're letting go of some heavy burdens to take a leap of faith. Um, it may be with somebody or like it may be revolving around worry about money or holding on to your money or investments or something like this. And I think you need to make a choice to let your guard down and to take a risk or something of this sort. Okay. Now this also could have to do with a child, um, a choice in regards to a child. Um, maybe possibly moving away from something that you were holding on to too tightly here. Okay. Um, with the lovers, I see a choice with the moon and the queen of cups. It could be your choice or you could be involved with 
or have Cancer or Pisces predominant in your chart, there's a choice here. And there is a Seven of Wands, like maybe, and the truth regarding something you were trying to block out could have to do with child support or um, fair and equal give and take that you're stressed out about or the give and take in a family scenario that you're stressed out about. Um, I see healing around that. I see healing around that. Okay. And I, the advice is to help or hinder the situation is to invest in what you love. To make the choice to invest in what you love. Um, to not be afraid of the truth. There's something here about um, fear of um, lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating someone. Something of that sort. Either with you or something going on in the periphery with someone else. All right, what is this? Um, what is this um, Queen of Swords over here? There's also advice here um, regarding a Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, possibly um, making a decision to invest um, or not invest, walking away from what makes you sad from old times towards new opportunities. Okay, is is like important here. Um, it's possible that like there is somebody with some air in their chart that's like invested a lot that's waiting for you or something like this. Um, there's a lot of love here and a judgment call about um, an ending. Okay, um, to do with prior work thing that's like dead done over okay dead done over and I feel as if um, hold on give me this I feel as if um, I feel as if there's a Pisces very heavily here that's talking to you about heartbreak or that you caused heartbreak or something of this sort or that you love a lot that somebody lost or is communicating with or something like this or feels around them or something here. Um, that there's communication about pain here. Okay, or some sort of heart condition or something that happened to somebody's heart or something like this. Um, could have had to do with um, improper medications or some sort of um, overdose or something of this sort. I'm sorry if that happened. Um, also could have had to do with like just tapping into a higher spiritual plane to wrap your head around severe heartache or loss. Okay. I do feel like um, somebody very much loves you here and that you love somebody else. I feel a lot of love here. Um, some of you could have suffered a loss. I'm sorry if you did. Um, I Again, in your fourth house of home, I see this as um, going to be okay. I see either travel or movement here. What is the... Um, I feel like you're coming out of heartbreak. Some of you could be communicating about coming out of heartbreak. You may have felt like you had to get yourself to a higher place of consciousness and um, about your own heartbreak or about some loss or ending here could have involved a water sign, could have involved a water sign. Um, okay, give me, um, give me three. Somebody could be waiting on news here about an investment that makes them sad or something like this or I just feel as if um, there was a Some of you could be walking away from a Taurus or a Libra. Um, some of you could be walking away from your own uh, mother figure here that was unfair to someone else or something of this sort. Or to you, if you're facing a breakup in a relationship, I'm very, very sorry. Some of you could be dealing with a loss about a walk away and a choice, a bad decision or something of this sort. Um... I see, um, again, something here with Leo here. 
is popping up. Okay, strengthen and reverse. For a second, I don't know when I lost you shit. Um, anyway, I just pulled some advice and I got the Empress, the Eight of Cups, strength and reverse, the lovers in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles. If you made a bad choice in love, I feel like you're gonna turn around. There is um, somebody, again, this person has Pisces heavily in their chart or you do, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the advice is to follow your own wish fulfillment for your ultimate family happiness. Okay, um, to follow your own emotional wish fulfillment and it will lead to your family's happiness okay to move from a heart space okay and um this may require some independence before dependence or something of this sort okay this is um happiness on a very big level very big very big this is the ultimate and everyday happiness okay there's intuition about this um there is possibly um, somebody that you feel like you don't have any strength around. Could be somebody with Taurus or Libra or Leo in their chart. Um, could be about somebody's departure or something. Um, or a bad choice. Bad choice. Um, this choice may have involved a um, younger fire sign. Bad choice in the past. I don't know. I don't feel like you need to regret anything. I do see some um, children here. Or some young siblings, like maybe you're thinking back to your past when you were a child and somebody used to play with when you were a child. Something of this sort. Um, and healing, okay, going on in that area. Big, 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 big healing. Uh, and the advice, some of your advice is to go back and to heal a situation with somebody you very much love. Somebody you consider family. And that it will work out. Okay, I see some instability here, some worries, some fears that everything's over, blah, 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 blah. But to try and heal um, something. And this may be very deep-rooted, involving Aquarius and or Leo. Um, ultimate family happiness, wish fulfillment. And I feel like there, is, there are people that you very much um, love here that you do not want to walk away from. And I would not suggest walking away from people that you love um, as long as they're good to you, you know, if they love you back. Somebody, this is something here with somebody, um, family scenario that you consider love or your family, something of this sort. Um, this could be with extended family. Some of you, um, some of you, this involves a very deep personal relationship and an offer of um, something tangible, maybe something little, or some of you may have children from different people. Something of this sort. I feel like this situation is going to work out as long as you stick with um, your love or who you love. I see you feeling like a little bit scared to make an offer or about a judgment re related to a relationship. Um, and that relationship is very important to you. Okay. Or somebody else. Okay. And I feel like uh, ultimate family happiness is more important than anything. There's a lot of cups here. There's a lot of feelings here lot of feelings and there may be somebody that you feel like you can resist no longer or you don't want to leave or something like this okay or somebody may have done something in haste to turn around quickly and I feel like if there is a turnaround it's towards love it's towards emotions it's towards emotional fulfillment with people that make you happy and it's something that you're willing to um fight and compete for or a person you are because they emotionally fulfill you or they're important to your um family you know um there's a lot of emotions here um okay i love you guys i will see you later this is just a short read so i'm not gonna go any further than i've already gone further than i should um on these lunar reads okay i love you scorpio it's gonna be good I see, feel like you're all in your head, stressed out. Um, just follow your heart.
okay? Um, unless, you know, you're off, your heart's always going to lead you in the proper direction, okay? Something here that you're stressed out about, but there's a lot of love here, a lot of emotions, um, and I think if you just stick with your heart, everything's going to work out. You know, um, I feel like if you feel good on the inside and, and you know, you know, then you're good. Okay. All right. I love you. I'll see you later. I'm going to go to Sag. I'm going to pause. Sag, how are you? I did a little reading for you the other day. I'm here to do your new moon reading. The new moon's energy will be in effect for two weeks before, two weeks after the new moon for new beginnings. However, this new moon... It's got like a very deep vibe to it. Go listen to the intro if you haven't already. Um, this new moon will be trining with your ruler, which is your ruler is in Aries, okay? And um, this new moon hits your third house um, of close networks, siblings, communications, um, everyday affairs, people you communicate with in your immediate environment and or close network, neighbors, school, things like this. Um, all right, um, there is a very big um, feminine, masculine, patriarchal energy in Aries right now, okay? Maybe dealing with a mother and father figure, a married couple, something of this sort, okay? There may be some wounding or old wounds around surrounding that issue that you feel from your childhood or from very old. There may be a teacher, someone very wise around as well. Um, there's just a lot of heavy, heavy energy here very powerful energy at the um, Aries Pisces cusp, okay? Um, there may be somebody that you know with um, Aries Pisces placements that's um, of prominence right now. Could be a feminine energy, but it also could be a masculine energy, so I'm not gonna say which. Um, there, is, this trine is very powerful though. Um, it's, just, it's just very, very powerful, okay? Um, putting you on the ascendant here, um, there, if Mars is still moving through your seventh house, okay, your ruler is in your fifth house, that's children, all right, um, with the wife appearing here, you may be dealing with an ex, or you may be dealing with your mother, or your grandmother, or somebody here, um, and maybe a father as well, okay, there's some sort of wound here that can't heal, but you can learn from with Chiron here. Appearing here in the fifth house, having to do with um, joy, creativity, children. There's some eternal flame here, something valuable, um, a person or a thing or or a, something of value here. Okay, um, right at the fourth and fifth house cusp. This tells me that it involves your home, your base foundation, your root, as well as children and or joy, creativity. Okay, very important. Okay, um, there is also something coming from um, Leo, which I'm going to mention because um, Lilith is there. So Lilith has to do with independent feminine energy, also has to do with um, a lot of feminine independence. When Lilith is healthy, very, very positive. Okay, and it's it's coming off and trying. When Lilith is unhealthy, not so positive. Um, but I'm gonna go with Lilith being healthy for you because it's trining. However, if it's unhealthy, if it's unhealthy, it, it could be very easy to fall back into those patterns, something of this sort, or fall prey to somebody who's um, breathing in a not so positive Lilith space. You're popping here with the magician, which is your 7-7 seven, seven sign. You may be involved with the Gemini, which is your 7-7 seven, seven sign. Um, Mars is in there. A lot of passion, a lot of heat, a lot of arguments in the 7th house having to do with contracts, marriages, prenups, postnups, um, mutuals, marriage, things of this hot passion in the 7th house. If your marriage is buzzing, if a committed relationship is buzzing, awesome. If it's not, there might be some tension surrounding contracts, work, frenemies, things of this nature. Okay. Seven of Swords and the Hermits at the bottom. If you're dealing with somebody that is a Virgo, um, there may be some secrets that are coming out or some lying to yourself about how you feel about this person, something of this sort, or just some secrets or some inward reflection 
occurring, okay, right now. But I see you in major manifestation mode for this, this new moon hits you so hard um, that like you want something eyes focused, you're going to get it with the magician. Um, and this, this like the midpoints of this planetary lineup are just very, very big, very, very huge, very, very transformative. Um, okay. And when I say that I'm popping with death. Okay. Um, major arcana card for Scorpio. Um, also tied to, um, eighth house issues, death, taxes, transformation. I see some major, I mean, with this new beginning, it's like clear cut. I want this. I'm going to manifest it. Okay. The outcome here is the moon. You could have a Pisces, sun, moon, rising, or a um, somebody with prominent cancer or Pisces placements, sun, moon, rising, sell them. Um, or you may, yeah, mm -hmm. this is some powerful fucking energy. Um, Ten of Pentacles. And the seven, there's that seven of swords. There's somebody you see your ultimate happiness and security with. Um, it may be a secret or there may be secrets. Queen of Wands is at the bottom. Hangman in the reverse. Nine of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. You may be um, married or you may have um, dealings with somebody else that's married and their spouse or something of this sort. Okay. Um, or be dealing with somebody with um, some fire. I mean that you're the Queen of Wands, but there's also... There's something here. Pretty, pretty heavy, pretty strong energy. Um, feminine in nature, but does not have to be. Okay. Um, I say she for the energy behind the card, not whether it's a male or a female. Okay. Um, give me three for the magician. I feel like you're manifesting move. <laughs> Or you're manifesting um, someone that you're keeping secret or a plan to move to more secure ground that possibly you're keeping secret and possibly you want to shed old burdens that were emotional or physical in nature. Okay. There you are. Temperance. With death, temperance. Six of rods in reverse. There's something here. The reason that you're manifesting a go away or a new beginning or something is because somebody left you out in the cold. Somebody, um, there's either an ending to leaving somebody else out in the cold or um, you didn't have a victory in something you wanted. There was a feeling of loss, lack, or an actual death here or, or ending here. And this is why you're in manifestation mode. And you have plans to maybe go away and drop some burdens. You may, you know, Sag is the explorer. Um, you're going on to new paths. You may have had a loss of a job or an ending here. And this is why you're in manifestation mode. And I feel like you're very intuitive about this manifestation you want. It may involve a move or travel or move to a new job and shedding old burdens that were a very, very heavy weight. They may be emotional or you may have taken a loss very emotionally, whether it was an actual physical death, breakup, or um, move or loss of a job or something like this. Um, but I feel like you're moving to calmer waters and you're doing that from an emotional heart space. Okay? And maybe a secretive space or maybe towards a um, Pisces or Cancer. All right? to um, drop some loads. Okay. What's this moon? And here's the moon again as the likely outcome. What's the moon? Knight of Swords and Judgment. Somebody's coming in quick and hot to make some like fast moves or communicate. Okay. And maybe a uh, King of Pentacles. Um, This may be like, um, I don't want to speak on this too soon. Okay. What's this Ten of Pentacles? What's this Ten of Pentacles? There may be a business owner here that you're calling judgment on. Um, there may be a secret, like you may be leaving fast or moving or traveling fast or word travels to you fast, something of this sort, but it's like something you have to keep hush hush 
or involving a Pisces or a Scorpio. Or if you have um, Pisces or, no, not Pisces or Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer, if you have those predominantly placed, you're playing off here very, very heavy. You may wanna open your own business. You may wanna open a new business. You may be the main breadwinner in your home if you're married. Um, this Ten of Pentacles, I have some sort of new beginning. Very, very, very exploring a new beginning with family or home. There was some situation that ended fast, either because of a job loss or transformation of some sort or secrets. And now you're manifesting a new beginning very quickly, or you're trying to, or you want to. You want to drop some baggage and some heavy burdens, okay? All the tools are within you to deal with your emotional, and now some of you may be really battling emotionally, and you're um, dropping emotional baggage to like just say, Whew, whatever happens, happens, but I'm gonna take care of what's most important to me, okay? Um, give me the Seven of Swords. There may be some uh, heartbreak here, dealing with um, anxiety that you have and heartbreak over um, a commitment or a loss of a job here or a Taurus, okay, that you're very stressed out about. Very stressed out about leaving. Maybe it's somebody you love, a sibling, um, a brother, uh, a government entity, it could be, um, but there may be something that you uncover that breaks your heart, something like this. Um, and there is higher order here that's called for in relation to um, lying to yourself about your own heartbreak or heartache, okay? And about sharing that, about that you can't block that out forever. You cannot hide heartbreak forever. You cannot hide the way you feel forever, okay? There's some higher order being called on this heartache and anxiety, okay? Um, Somebody literally could have anxiety that like affects their heart or they feel like, oh, I'm having a heart attack, but they're just having an anxiety attack or something of this nature. Um, but I don't think so. I feel like somebody's stressed out here and a lot of heart pain, sleepless nights, endless days. They're worried about something they did wrong or judgment being called by a government entity or loss of something, some sort of hierarchy or order that's causing them stress. They feel unblocked. They feel like they can't tap into a new beginning. This is you. This is your reading. And um, the um, advice here is to heal yourself, that you will have this Ten of Pentacles. You will have the ultimate security, happiness, and home. You deserve it. You want it. And you're going to explore till you get it. Okay? There's healing and a new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, but if you stay in this space of lying to yourself about your feelings, you're going to cause more emotional anxiety for yourself, more heartache for yourself. Okay, don't need to hide it. What is this Ace of Pentacles? Some of you may have had a truth come in about an older man that you're dealing with. Um, maybe a water sign or about a new beginning dealing with a water sign or about a contract gone awry. Um, some of you could um, be in love with somebody that's out of sorts or um, player-like or aggressive and having a new beginning in love and the truth about whether um, a foundation is built to last or not. And I just feel like you're just having a um, moment. So to speak. I mean, it's a big moment. I mean, I'm not trying to, it's a big moment. There's big changes involved. However, you feel like you're going to lose your shit and you feel like you're going to lose your shit because of what happened. If you recognize the emotions in it, you're not going to be able to move. They're very heavy, but you are. And I do feel like you're, you're facing possibly loss or anxiety over a Taurus. Some of you, maybe somebody with air in their chart as well. Somebody nasty, maybe a, a air sign treated you nasty about a new beginning or blocked out a new beginning. You're stressed out. You're stressed out over here. Here you're fine. So the advice is, is to go and explore with healing a new beginning, okay? 
with love and truth, all right, about what's not working and what is, and you will have this. I feel like you're affecting yourself because of something you lost or something you're blocking, you're trying to block out on heartache or, or lying, cheating, stealing, manipulation that somebody else did to you. Could have been an Aquarius. Um, could have been somebody with a lot of air in their chart. There's a higher order here. Okay, with that. Okay, that's all I'm going to do on that. Okay. But I do feel like you are making a plan to manifest something. And I feel like part of it's secret or involves a Cancer or a Pisces. Or you have those predominantly placed in your chart. I feel like you lost. You had a victory. You, it's like the end of losing, being left out in the cold, not getting the promotion, not getting the job you want, punishing yourself over an ending and new beginning here. There's an end to that. Okay? Um, that comes swiftly. There's a judgment call on it. Okay? There may be some new opportunity here. Maybe dealing with somebody that's a Taurus. I've said that already. Somebody may be dropping their baggage. This could be a male or a female figure with some Taurus, but there may be um, some communication or some movement or action that was swift. Swift that was taken that you're making a judgment call on. Could be related to a business owner and or somebody with some earth in their chart and or somebody with um, male or female figure um, that you're just like, you're like, you admit defeat, like you're done because it's affected you emotionally too much, okay? If you were the primary breadwinner, there may have been like something that happened that you're just very emotional about. Um, being passed over, being lose, losing a job, feeling like something was unjust. Again, there's like Libra or Taurus energy here. Um, closing out of a cycle, okay? There's also, um, an air sign that's prominent here that you're dealing with. Something's taking a lot of strength. Something to deal with a reunion or a family or a get together or a gathering or a funeral that's like an ending that's just fucking hurts. It's either a job or um, a family matter. Okay? But I see you manifesting something to move to calmer waters and you have to drop baggage and that includes emotional baggage that you're carrying. Um, that you know you need to drop about heartache, about punishing yourself. Um, Sag is the explorer. Now you may have secret plans to explore and feel bad or deviant about those or something. Something like that. But there's healing and ultimate family security here. I feel like there is a possible parent here. <sighs> A possible parent-child relationship between an Aquarius and a Sagittarius. Or an Aquarius and um, another fire sign. Could be you. Um, there also could be... I've already said this. Um, so a lot of brothers or uncles or something in somebody's family. And like a contract's not working out or family's fighting. But there's healing here taking place. By the truth and just being honest and calm. Tapping into temperance. You have that. Okay? Um, but I feel like you feel like you're a failure or you failed at something or something like this. That's like, there's an end to that, a new beginning to that. Being left out in the cold. There's like a new mix or an alchemy. Okay. Even though if something ended, it hurts. Um, you do need to recognize your emotions, dealing with the pain so that you don't get stuck in the anxiety and can make lucid decisions about what you want to do. Okay. But I see you, somebody hiding their um, hand here about heartache, dealing with a Taurus or some sort of job or government entity or something like this. You feel like you can't block it out. Whatever you do, you feel like you can't block it out. It may have to do with somebody with some air in their chart, okay? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, Taurus. Earth has popped up here as well, but there's... You have all the tools within your disposal to get exactly what you want. Don't punish yourself. Don't punish yourself. I feel like somebody has a sibling here and um, somebody's afraid to tell their dad something or, 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 or something with their dad and all these brothers and uncles or sisters or something like this and feeling like the loser or something like this, but you're not. You're the magician. Like, you know, like, 
this is a very powerful individual, um, a very mature person, okay? If they want to be, okay? Um, I feel like you're self-loathing or something here for the Sagittarius that's popping up. Share your emotions with those you love, those you trust. Don't be afraid if you need to make some changes in your life because of a loss or a change in job or family. Don't need to be afraid. Everything's going to be okay. Um, very strong energy here, okay? Um, let me see what else I wanna say. Oh, this um, is in the third house, again, that has to do with close networks, brothers, siblings, things of this sort, and I saw that pop up here. Uh, direct communications, neighbors, everyday affair networks kind of thing, uh, communications in general. Um, this passes over your second house as well as the fourth. So I just feel like this does have to do with income, this does have to do with family, your security, your roots, your home, and people in between for some reason. I don't know if you're getting together with family or with family now, but it's like popping and the pressure zone's popping. And something here you're stressed out about, Sag. You don't need to be stressed out, okay? I'm gonna move on to Capricorn. Happy, happy, happy. This new moon hits your second house. Big transformations to do with values, income, sources of income, what we value. Um, this could have a very masculine and feminine energy or be tied to a husband, wife, or a mother, father, things of this sort. Your ideas of the same are up for transformation. What solidifies you and gives you a sense of security, up for transformation. Um, Your first house, second house, and third house are impacted. So I feel like whatever changes are up for right affect you on a level that other people can see for better or worse, depending on how you handle them. Okay? I need this for my cappy. First, second house of income, there could be changes. There could be changes in a sibling's life or everyday networks, people coming in, out, new solidification, and some sort of loss, death, transformation, or ending to do with an income source or something to do with first, second, and third house issues, okay? I also see um, Scorpio, Virgo, um, Gemini, uh, Cappy, Taurus, Libra, uh, Aquarius involved here, okay? Possibly, not to mention the um, other aspects that are um, playing off. A lot of people, and a big, big, big deal in these new beginnings, okay? For my Cappy. Queen of Swords is at the bottom. Four of Swords. There's um, some fours here having to do with new beginnings and new stability here, new foundations, all right? Um, there's a holding on or clinging to prior foundations, a fear about letting go and closing out a cycle. This could have to do with your need to rest and go inwardly to think about a decision or being burnt out, okay? Could be, all right? Could be some um, anxiety here or somebody that was in the hospital or resting here or you may just be feeling overwhelmed. Um, yeah. I feel like you've been facing something that's very hard. Things have been going very fast. You may feel um, just fucking spent. Okay? You're not sure. Yeah. Heartbreak and three of swords. There may be um, somebody else that's interfering or you're interfering or some third party scenario you're just sick of here that you need to take a rest because I feel like um, the mental anguish here is very, very strong right now with you and you need healing and rest. Okay. Something's not performing a par with you. Um, you're at a very like guarded stance is the likely outcome. Nine of swords. This is like battle ready. The reason you're taking a rest is because of this 
Knight of Wands, either somebody playing around with you or moving too quick or you moving around too quick, gallivanting all over the fucking place and then being fucking exhausted. Fucking exhausted. Um, there's a wish fulfillment here about your emotions and love and a Queen of Cups. Your own wish fulfillment, all right? Okay, this has to do with very, very deep emotional satisfaction and happiness and you feel a little bit disillusioned. There may be somebody that you love a lot with Gemini or um, Virgo involved here or disillusionments around somebody um, to do with this mess here as well. Also possibly a Pisces or a um, Cancer. All right, let's take a look at this, your burnout. Okay, um, what you can do to help or hurt this, there's a Three of Swords and a Three of Pentacles here. So there's something here about not engaging in third party shit that causes heartbreak, um, backing away, backing down out of that, um, possibly a contract or a collaboration here that didn't work out, but we're going to see. Okay, what is this? Um, what is this Four of Swords? Yeah, there's like a, lot, a lack of communication here. Um, possibly with an Aries or a father figure, or possibly um, communication that's stalled, that's braked, or somebody not talking to you. If you're a father figure, this could be you. But there's some sort of lack of being able to talk to a father figure. Maybe a father figure was sick, or maybe this is you. Okay? There's some sort of risk. Um, not risk. There's some sort of blessing here that you can receive if you relax, but you need to relax. Okay? Um, what is this nine of wands? I feel like somebody just wants to talk to their dad and they can't. Something. Okay. Or talk to a father figure or dealing with a father figure or there's a father figure in your life you're not talking to or a boss or something. Or you need a rest from work or something. And if you're this boss, you may need a rest. You're juggling too much. That's the reason for this rest. Um, you're juggling, juggling and running around trying to keep all the balls in the air, trying to make sure that everything's okay. Um, and like your body or somebody else has told you, you just need to fucking take a rest. Okay. For a new beginning. Um, some of you could have been dealing with somebody that was player like, I doubt it, but you could have, or been like starting and not finishing enough projects or something like this and judgments being called on that. Like, oh, I want to start this. Oh, I want to do that. And then nothing's working because you're all over the place at once. Um, and that's the reason for this rest. All right. What's this nine of, um, you can't like do a million things at once. Um, I feel like you or somebody around you has some fire in their chart. On this nine of wands, I have a queen of wands in the reverse. If you have a sun, moon, or rising that is a fire sign, this could be you. You may feel, def I mean, some of you could be you, and you could just be out of sorts with yourself, or it could be somebody else that um, you're all fucking stressed out about. All fucking stressed out about. Somebody doesn't want to work on things anymore, or you're um, stressed out about whether you want to work on things with this person or something like this, or this could be you feeling defensive about work getting strong work vibes here, okay? Or somebody else with some fire in their chart here, they feel a little bit defensive around, okay? Maybe because they played you or you played them or something of this sort. What is this um, three of pentacles here? You gotta, t yeah, you gotta drop baggage, uh, possibly related to a relationship or letting go of a relationship or um, a specific relationship in your life right now is a very heavy burden. You're, you're at a point of indecision about it, indecision about whether it can work. I have the Two of Cups and the Two of Swords here. Um, I feel like you're meeting. Yeah, about wish fulfillment here. What's your real wish? You wanna drop the burdens here, okay? Your advice here is to go, um, there's something about self-indulgence or your own wish fulfillment or only you know making a bad decision about something there was an odd there's like some i've got three twos on this one card here that's pretty big and two threes so far so yeah there's some um third party scenario there is um something here that was causing heartbreak dealing with a third party scenario so you need to collaborate on what you have to do with let go of the things you don't have anything to do with 
um, because it's causing significant heartbreak in the situation or with others. Um, there's some sort of offer here, um, you know, or doorway that can be gone through that's causing you heartbreak because of a third party or third party interference, okay? Could have to do with a Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus, another one, or something to do with um, some sort of avenue here, or somebody is heartbroken because of third party interference into something, dealing with motherhood or being a wife, or something like this, okay? So, sorry about that, Cappy. All right, give me this um, sign. There's a deep need to rest or relax here, okay? Somebody that you um, love, that you deem your ultimate help, uh, happiness and home with, possibly here that has a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, and there's a problem here that's being illuminating to you. Okay, and you need to release the shackles of your own self-imposed imprisonment and ending. And you, there needs to be, um, there was news about a child or delayed news about a child. And there's, there's fighting and an end to a situation here. And there's illumination on any restrictions or um, feelings of imprisonment or catty, nasty behavior towards somebody else. Okay, if that was you, you need to take a break. Okay, um, I feel like there's some scenario here that you're holding on to that you feel very defensive about involving the justice system or rejection or something like that where you just, you need a break. You need a break. Um, and I feel like, you know, you're going to get it. Okay, I feel like the Capricorn that's resonating with this knows what I'm talking about. This could have to do with an ex or your um, children okay or a, a pregnancy or other children or something like this and an end to a situation okay where there was nasty fighting or something like this okay there's been repercussions from a situation dealing with that okay and and there's there's a there's a need for you to rest for you to see what's really clearly going on here and to retract from anything you don't need to do um, and only take on what you need to do. Okay. I love you, Cappy. I am going to move on to, but there is, there is an, um, a transformation or a new beginning around this time. And it might be because you say, I got to get some fucking rest because, um, Capricorn is in need of some rest or somebody else is laid up like burnout, burnout, had enough. Somebody has had enough of a third party scenario or third party interference or nastiness towards them. Okay, take it as it resonates. All right. Okay. Let's go to Aqua. Aqua, how in the heck are you, my friend? This is in your first house, and you are a powerhouse and the center of attention as well as energies are the center of attention. You guys have had Saturn, your Hellenistic ruler, in your sign for a long time. Now she's meeting up with Venus. There can be some new commitments, some new binding contracts tied to um, material wealth and or partnerships or justice or some sort of justice coming in, but there's some big transformation also tied to it or some new beginning that's also tied to it, okay? As well as uh, communications and thoughts. Your ruler is in your own um, sign. Your modern day ruler is in your fourth house of home. Okay, so there may have been a lot of transformations around the home, okay, in the past few years. And um, there may be again transformations in your home because the North Node is pulling on this aspect, saying if you made a move and you made a move too fast and you don't like it, then you gotta fix it or something like this, okay? Have the Knight of Wands. You're going to fix it fast. <laughs> Knight of Wands is here. Okay? You're ready to move. You're ready to move. You're ready to make a move. You're ready to spearhead something. Something very visible that you very much want. Okay? Um, or somebody's coming in to you hot and fast. Okay? Queen of Pentacles. You're, okay? Is the reason for this Knight of Wands. There could be somebody here that you deem as an ultimate mate 
or um, spouse or live-in partner or um, somebody with some Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus that moves towards you or you want to move towards fairly quickly here, all right, um, that you're fucking ready to battle for, okay, ready to fight for, something of this sort, okay, um, that is the likely outcome, nine of wands is here, um, what you can do to help or hinder this, there's a nine of wands here in this new beginning and an eight of swords, the star is here. There you are. There's your major arcana. Okay. Somebody may be in the public light, limelight or whatever happens or you do may be in the public limelight. So be careful where you place your investments. I feel like you're watching somebody. I feel like you see ultimate happiness and family with somebody or that's on the line. There's healing surrounding that investment. Possibly um, a child of water or air also at issue and or news surrounding somebody you really love that you've had your eye on or something like this that you want to like run towards okay all right you want to run towards or run away from one or the other <laughs> all right what is this nine of wands for my aquarius this nine of wands um i have a page of rods with this I feel like there's something here that you really want. You gotta drop your defenses to get it. You may have been like hiding at it or something like that, some wish fulfillment. Okay, there may have been something pursued at all costs here that was a little too much or you want somebody at all costs here. I'm not gonna speak on it yet, hold on. There is a um, advice here that you really need to, um, mm -hmm. okay, you're popping here. Some of you may be dealing with a, another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that you're married to or in a live-in relationship with or something like this. Some of you may have a um, child that's an air sign or a fire sign. There may be um, some need to release the shackles of somebody um, else to go after what you want because I see you in a defensive mode here and the advice to how to not fuck this up, whatever it is you want, is to be in too much of a defensive mode and an imprisonment of your own mind, okay? What? What is this nine of wands? Um, there's either some secretive communication here or communication um, dealing ooh, just like somebody here you got the hot score um, aqua you want to run to this person something here or there's some secret loving communications or romantic offer here you want to move towards somebody very very quickly I mean I got some fast moving shit here okay very emotive towards this person okay um, hold on. The reason for this is um, you may have made, done something foolish with this person in the past or done something foolish with somebody else, have a child with somebody else or invested in somebody else or not invested in somebody that you like, that you now want to return to or just made foolish moves in the past here. Okay, you may be ready to settle down. Um, some of you may have been ready to settle down, settle down with the wrong person previously, or um, been afraid to be in a mature relationship, possibly a live-in relationship. Okay, hold on. What's this Bible want? But there's somebody here that you wanna like I see you in a position where you want to run towards somebody as fast as you fucking can, but you might be keeping it a secret or they may have um, cancer, sun, moon, rising, selum, or Pisces in the chart. Okay. What is this five one? I 
I feel like if you're a father or dealing with a father figure, there was some sort of disillusionment here about what you wanted, what really fills up your emotional cups. You may be dealing with somebody else that's an Aries or an Aquarius that's not healed, or you may be acting out of a place of not healing, or you may have been waiting on something. Hold on. What's this? What's this star? I feel like I've got. Um, Somebody here that you're holding on to from the past, possibly for some of you, um, that there's a truth that you are holding on to this past love or something like this that's going to be spoken or needs to be spoken for healing that you didn't let go of or um, that you're disillusioned about your own ability to be a father figure or something like this. Okay, hold on. Or to get married or something like this. What's the seven of um, cups? Or that there was fighting surrounding a father figure. Or that a father figure blocked you from doing or working on what you wanted. Or, or making an apology or a love offer to somebody. I don't know why. It's looking a little, looking a little funny. <laughs> Exciting, but funny. Alright, hold on. What's this moon? There's some sort of communication about a bad decision or indecision or something about um, your victory, your ultimate happiness, um, which road to go on, whether to make a love offer, whether to communicate how you really feel or somebody else. There's some truth coming in on that, some healing. There's some disillusionment here. Um, maybe somebody needs to make an apology to make this happen, whatever they want to happen. As long as it's from a true heart space. Otherwise, you're just going to get wrapped up into this old cycle again and it's not going to work. All right. Um, I feel like there's some freeing or imprisonment or some long standing lust or something being held or flame here. Um, that is, you've got to like end something to get something new. Okay. Maybe waiting on somebody to be independent before you could go after them or something like this, okay? Um, what is this five of swords? I feel like you've got to walk away um, from anything that was negative or something like this. Maybe you had to walk away from a queen of rods, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, sun, moon, rising, okay? Um, here to chase your own wish fulfillment. Maybe you were married before to somebody that was a fire sign. Yeah. Um, and it's about like exploring your wish fulfillment. It doesn't matter if it doesn't wind up okay. Like the feelings that are here are pretty strong. So, you know, I would explore them. <laughs> I would explore them. Yeah. I feel like there is either some injustice here between two women, possibly a Pisces and a, and a Leo or a Sag or um, an Aries, or um, that you previously had a divorce from somebody that was a, uh, had some prominent fire placements or, or air placements here, okay. Um, you gotta get out of your head, okay? Um, the thing is about chasing your own wish fulfillment. There could be a child here that you're worried about, like what will, how will this child handle me, like going after somebody new or something like that. I think this child will be fine. Okay. Um, and so far as this Eight of Swords, it's like you have no boundaries with somebody that keeps invading your space um, or you invading somebody else's space. And you need strength to cut that person off so that you can have what you want, okay? And you need to be respectful, though, to this other person, okay? If you're waiting for somebody else to free you, you have to free yourself. Something of this sort, okay? Maybe you were waiting for, like, um, some sort of court matter or something to be done before you pursued something. Possibly for some of you. 
Okay. Um, anyway. <laughs> Somebody's chopping at the bit over here. <laughs> oh, Aqua. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move on to Pisces. These are quick reads. I'll see you for your regular read. Okay. Pisces, how are you? Pisces. This is in your 12th house, very secret house. There's a fucking full battery of planets in your 12th house, as well as your um, 11th house. So there's a lot of new beginnings and some of those new beginnings may be secretive. They may have to do with somebody that has Aqua, Capricorn, um, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio in their chart. Possibly, um, possibly some other signs, but I'm not gonna, that has to do with a lot of shit in the background. Okay. A clearing out brand new beginning, a transformation of your emotional life, possibly a clandestine affair. I'm not going to say that that doesn't happen, but if it is a clandestine affair, I feel like it's like a sealed deal. Don't ask me what that means. It means like, um, it's not like a fly by night kind of thing. Okay, something like that. Something like that. Okay. Give me for my Pisces. 12th is a very like deep place. You have a lot of positive energy in your first and your second house. If you're healers, if you do anything in the dark, if you're um, very into emotions or a counselor or something, you know, should be very good for you. A lot of transformative energy to be had. Give me this for my Pisces. Yeah. Somebody got you all hung up, Pisces? <laughs> all hung up? Some of you could have been like in a waiting period or again, a period of like higher mental, emotional recognition here, meditative, almost transformative in that way. Could have to do with a water and a fire sign, but not necessarily, okay? There's a lot of hot passion here. Woo! Oof. This has to do with family, ultimate happiness, maybe some heartbreak here. Okay, over some juggling. Could be somebody that feels like a soulmate or dealing with old soul ties. Maybe letting go of old soul ties um, or family ties as well. Okay, I'm not gonna say that that's not a possibility. I do see a celebration here ahead. Okay, it could be a third party scenario, but I don't think so. There is um, something here about like embracing your own um, divine feminine energy or you could have somebody else that's involved that say if has Taurus or Libra prominently placed. There's some sort of celebration reunion here. Party gathering, okay, some, yeah. Lack of feeling of rejection, letting go of feelings of rejection from the past, possibly dealing with um, something to do with a fire sign or a Scorpio, possibly, but not necessarily. Hold on, what is this three of cups? You maybe have to reject somebody else. Um, again, there may be um, you standing in your power. Somebody else may have to be rejected that's an Aquarius, um, Libra, or a Gemini. There may be um, some letting go here of someone. Okay? Somebody wish it may get fulfilled and somebody else's may not something of this sort i see you very strong placed here although there's a lot of heavy energy in the background there may have been something old or you may have been thinking about like people that are passed over that you love a lot that left that are watching you or something like this um, some of you may be thinking of, um, I'm getting this shaky grave song in my head. It's like, um, the dearly departed or something. I don't know. All right. Give me this, um, 
but there, you're coming out of a time of rest, or you did rest to um, put an end to something, to um, close a cycle, to get to a new beginning, and I do see you doing that. I see you very, um, it's like nobody can mess with you or something like this. I feel like the reason you got to this is because somebody um, tried to, um, I don't want to say bind you, restrict you, um, and imprison you or you faced a mental imprisonment of the mind could be having to do with a Pisces Leo or um, a cancer not necessarily but I feel like you release the restrictions of that you um, release like bondage due to that okay could have to do with a prior commitment okay or a Taurus as well okay I feel like you release that and like I don't want to say you're about to blow up but there's something here in a good way that um, is about to be very, very good, okay? I feel like emotionally, this is a very fertile time for you with Neptune moving forward, Jupiter, your Hellenistic ruler in the second house. Um, this will be a very good year for you as long as you stay calm, and I feel like you are staying calm about what you want, okay? There may be somebody that is um, either you or somebody else is letting go of competition, feeling in a very emotionally steady space to do that. There may also be somebody who um, has been waiting on you or waiting for you to have some more independence. Um, and I feel as if you are standing in this power of um, there may be some sort of choice here that you have to make, okay? Um, and and like stand in your power. Don't be afraid to shed your light to get your ultimate family happiness. That's your choice. I feel like you know what you want. I feel like happiness is a big happiness and love is a big part of what you want. Okay. I feel like there's either another feminine energy here that you um, want to go after or that. It may piss other people off or something like this, but you've got to go for what you want. And I feel like um, your heart has to, um, is focused on um, a foundation or a marriage, okay? Or a solid root relationship, okay? Um, I feel like it's something, don't be afraid of getting what you want. Something like this, okay? I feel like you had to possibly reject um, somebody codependent in the past, somebody that was a Capricorn or had Libra in their chart possibly or let go of something so that you could have this new beginning. Don't be afraid to stand in your power to get that, okay? Um, it doesn't matter if it pisses somebody else off. There may be a Scorpio here that's real pissed off or there may be a Scorpio that's helping you. There's a transformation here, okay? And, um, you know, it's very deep um, within, and it's something that I don't feel like you're going to turn back on or something like this, okay? There is some ending here with possibly an air sign that you regret or that you can never talk to again or that you don't ever want to talk to again. They used to be your fucking wish fulfillment, and they ain't anymore, something like that, okay? It's not what I want anymore, and you're very clear on that, Okay? All right, yeah. You have too many blessings coming in here. High Priestess, Ace of Cups, the Empress. <laughs> um, this is some very, very powerful energy. Um, I would just say don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of stepping into your own power. I feel a very steady emotional calm right here. A lot of fire energy. I feel like some of you guys may have felt like you kept your flame on low or something like that so that it, so that people didn't attack you or something like that you don't have to do that anymore um but there is some kind of delicate situation here that you're freeing yourself from and you'll be free of it okay and, it, and for whatever reason it is like a deep release deep <laughs> release okay um Something you've been waiting on, something you've been waiting to end, something you've been waiting to close out. Like, you go bump, bump, bump. Okay? 
um, you define what loving, happy home life is. I feel like you don't have to feel guilty about what that wasn't. And I feel as if there's um, some sort of big, pretty big breakthrough here. Um, and it, again, because of the energies that are popping up, I feel like um, it hits you in your depths or it happens in secret or there's something secretive about it. But I feel like you are involved in the new beginning. And it's very transformative. And um, it, it may come from help through your 11th house networks and um, also affect your 12th house, okay? I feel like maybe you need to keep something quiet or you want to keep something quiet or... I don't think that it's bad. I don't think it's bad. I feel like you're stepping into this Empress power, which is exactly what I see here near the cusp of Pisces. I see a lot of masculine, feminine power and a deep healing from the past and an ability to um, really step into some divine, feminine, masculine energy, however you want to put it. Some big energy. Okay. I love you, Pisces. I'll see you later. This is the end of the moon reading. I'll see you guys for the regular readings. I will try and post these all in one if I can. Rather, otherwise, it'll be in two parts, part one and part two.